Good morning, Magic. I'm Gavin Verhey from Wizards of the Coast. And have you ever heard of Extended? It was a way to play Magic that many players, myself included, had among their favorite formats. But it has since gone extinct. What was Extended? Why did it go away? Could it ever return? Today, we're taking a trip into the past. Let's get going. The year is 1997. Mbop is near the top of the music charts. Weatherlight is the magic set on sale. And there are three total constructed formats you can play. Type 2, which today is called Standard, Type 1, today called Vintage, and Block Constructed, where only sets from a single block were legal. But as you might notice, there was nothing between Standard and Vintage. Once cards rotated out of Standard, their next stop was to compete with the likes of Moxes and Balance in Vintage. So Wizards created something new, Extended. The idea was that Extended would be something in the middle. It would contain many more years of sets than Standard, but not go all the way back to Alpha. That way, you had a place to play your cards when they rotated out. It started off going back to Revised, but excluded Legends for some reason. Anyway, that put 11 total sets in the format. Wizards said that like Standard, they would rotate the format eventually. Just wait and see. Yeah, look, things were different back then. Anyway, a lot of decks which sound classic now showed up in those first couple years of Extended. Whether Randy Bueller's Necropotence deck winning Pro Tour Chicago in 1997, John Finkel's Prison deck that packed delights like Winter Orb and Armageddon, Forbidian, which used Forbid with Ophidian, Sly, and of course, many variants of Tolarian Academy combo. Never forget that the finals of Pro Tour Rome in 1998 featured one of the most broken decks of all time, Academy which could kill you on turn one up against a merfolk deck, packing four copies of Manta Riders. Sorry, Professor, the merfolk came up short this time. Anyway, at the end of 1999, about two years since the format's inception, it rotated, taking the Dark, Fallen Empires, Revised, and Fourth Edition with it. Though the Revised Dual Lands were kept legal, making for some powerful mana bases. They helped fuel decks like Oath of Druids and even Slivers. After that, Extended got onto a more consistent schedule. Unlike Standard, which rotated every year, Extended would rotate every three years, and with it would go three previous years of sets. For example, skipping ahead to 2005's rotation, when Ravnica City of Guilds came out, Tempest, Urza's, and Masks Block all went with it, and that every three-year schedule is how it remained all the way up to 2009. But I'll get into what happened in 2009 in a moment. First, let's zoom out. For tournament players, Extended was consistently one of the most wide-open formats. It had enough cards to create a variety of decks, but the occasional rotation every few years still made sure it moved over time. One of my personal favorite extended formats was around 2008 to 2009, after Shards of Alara. You could play so many decks, from Mono Blue Fairies with Riptide Laboratory and a host of Wizards, to Elf Combo with Glimpse of Nature, to aggressive zoo decks backed by Wild Nakadal, to Affinity, to Storm, to Enduring Ideal, to Astral Slide, to Hypergenesis, to Dredge, to Dark Depths, to even this goofy all-in red deck where you just tried to cast a turn one Deus of Calamity. I could go on and on. But what happened? Clearly this story doesn't end with Extended being a popular format today. Remember, it no longer exists. There was a problem. Extended was fun when it was played. The way events worked, there were a few months of extended season every year, and then the format was mostly ignored the rest of the time. Nobody played extended casually for fun. 
it was a format most attractive to tournament grinders. The rotation system was weird and hard to understand, and because it rotated, the threat of rotation every few years meant nobody really wanted to hold on to tons of staples for the format. When it wasn't extended season, most people couldn't find anybody to play the format with. So Wizards tried a few things to get extended back on track. Starting in 2009, instead of the weird rotate every three years schedule, Wizards tried making it rotate yearly. Maybe that would help out, right? Well, no. It did make it more understandable, but didn't help fix the problem. So Wizards decided to take a step back and take another look at the structure of the format entirely. What if it was fewer sets, so it was more manageable and approachable? That could work. In 2010, the format was changed, dropping extended size nearly in half, as it became limited to just the last four years of sets, or as people derisively called it, double standard. This change was not popular, and in my opinion, accelerated the death of the format. It exchanged the deck diversity of extended for something that felt like the past couple years of standard decks. It didn't help matters that standard had its format ruled by two decks in the past couple years, Cobblade and Fairies. It was just a question for many about which of these two decks was right to play. Numbers did not go up. And then something happened. Me. Okay, only kind of. To be more precise, it was Wizards of the Coast with some influence from me. Before I came to work at Wizards, I created a format called Overextended. It was a non-rotating format from Invasion forward. At the same time, Wizards of the Coast was working on a format called Modern, which, well, you probably know that one. Between early promising results from Wizards Modern tests, combined with a huge groundswell of interest in my overextended format, a decision was made just a handful of weeks before Pro Tour Philadelphia, a scheduled extended Pro Tour. It would be changed to become the first ever modern event. And that event went great. That was, though, more or less the end of extended. There's a lot more to say about modern and overextended, but maybe that's a topic for another video someday. You can let me know if you'd like to see one in the comments down below. Anyway, in the time since, modern has succeeded where extended failed. Spawning a whole line of master sets and two horizon sets, modern is one of the most popular ways to play magic in the world, year round. What happened? Why did modern succeed and extended fail? You could argue a lot of reasons, from game factors all the way to just the proliferation of information online. But in my opinion, the single largest factor is this. Modern didn't rotate. History has shown, time and time again, that for a format to be successful, you need not just competitive players to be interested, you need casual and social players who vastly outnumber competitive players to want to play. And by extended rotating, it meant players didn't want to hold on to your extended cards and also made it very hard to understand. Did you have an extended deck? Who knows? The social and casual players didn't really take to extended. Meanwhile, on the other hand, modern has become a de facto term for so many people at all skill levels. Sure, many of you might think of Modern as a format where you smash ragavans into one another, but in talking with players, many people treat Modern as a very casual format that is just a sandbox, which means most things you've opened in a booster since you're playing are allowed. Squirrels, mono red control, walls matter, all technically Modern legal decks. They're not going to go crush a tournament, but it doesn't matter. It gives people a shared language to let them play against one another, and that's powerful. It helps everybody get excited about modern. And you know what? Maybe one of those squirrel players will want to go in deeper someday and become one of those Ragavan players. And that's how a format keeps you around. A lot of my friends who are very casual just call all of their 60 card constructed decks modern decks and have them hew to modern legality. It's just easier. Extended walked, so modern could run. And while there's a nostalgic bit of my heart that will always be back with Extended, I'm glad we have Modern today. And because of the success of Modern and the growing format of Pioneer, I don't predict Extended will return anytime soon. 
In fact, Modern and Pioneer are both doing Extended's original goal of giving you a place to play your cards when they rotated out of Standard. But what do you think? Do you think Extended could be something we could try again? How would you fix it? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll talk with you again soon, and in the meantime, may you extend your knowledge of magic. You got this. Him ever. I would have not named him Edgar. I would have given him a much cooler name. But here we are, st <laughs> stuck stuck with now a name that was given to Edgar that is just like the name Edgar, which is not only on this very popular commander, but literally was a face of Crimson Palace at this game. So good reminder, name things always as if they're going to be used in the future, because you never know when they will be. Yeah. Uh,